This is a big, flat, empty place. Perfect for a spot of automotive gymnastics. The Guinness Book of World Records contains many amazing examples of human achievement, including one for the quickest time taken to make a sandwich with your feet. Absolutely, and fair enough. But we found a glaring omission, because at the moment there is no record for the number of times a car can roll over at high speed. So, that's what we're going to do today. Now, there are rules to this kind of thing. The Guinness people have defined a role as one complete revolution of the car. Like this, from its wheels, onto the side, onto the roof, back onto the side, and back onto the wheels again. And they'll only recognise our record if we fully roll the car five times. And there's one more thing. To make the record official, there has to be a person inside the car. And it's going to be me, who introduces you to Steve. A stuntman. So, what kind of car is Steve going to risk his neck in? Is it a hefty Hummer or some Renault with a five-star safety rating? Oh dear, no. In fact, it's a 1991 Ford Sierra estate. There is some logic to our low-budget lunacy, though. You see, the estate's curved, tube-like shape should help keep it rolling over and over. Now, for this to work, we also need a massive amount of energy going through the car when it rolls. So, a stuntman is going to belt down the runway at 60 miles an hour and make a violent, sharp left. Then, for good measure, he's going to yank on the handbrake. But that's not going to be enough to give us the minimum of five complete rolls that we need. So, once the car is into a skid, Steve is going to hit this button and all hell will break loose as it triggers this cannon which uses compressed air to fire a steel piston which will smash into the ground flipping the car and remember this is not you bet we have no idea what's going to happen okay so the audience is ready here we go For this stunt to succeed, timing is crucial. When Steve hits 60 miles an hour, he must pull the handbrake and detonate the cannon in almost the same instant. Well, obviously, they're saying if his head's come off, I'm assuming it hasn't because that probably renders it null and void. In fact, Steve was fine, but understandably, he'd been too busy to count the number of rolls. So, let's check again in slow motion. 